Ooh, y'all. Welcome to March 2022. All right, y'all, there are several first things that you might notice. Uh, <laughs> the very first, well, I ain't gonna say the very first thing, but one of the things you might notice is that I did not upload a video all of February, 2022. I did not record any videos. I didn't edit any videos and I didn't upload any videos any last month. Another thing you might notice is that I have flat ironed my hair. The only time I do that, is when I want to trim my hair. I have been saying on and off for I don't know how long that I want to cut my hair. I'm talking about cut like, you know, like cut like right here. And when my hair's in this curly state, it seem like no matter how I comb it, how I style it, whatever, it pretty much, you know, come to my shoulders. You know, sometimes a little bit higher, sometimes a little bit lower, but pretty much, you know, on my shoulders. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, you know, I'm feeling it, you know, from right here to like right here. But when I flat iron my hair and then I look at it, besides the hours and hours it take for me to go through the whole process, and I got a funny story for y'all, but <laughs> I'm gonna say that for like in a few minutes. But after I get through with the finished product and then I look at the length of my hair, I immediately change my mind. It's no different this time. If you can see this, so this is, this is how long my hair is, um, try to see if I can give you like a side, cause yo, I can't be standing up and doing like all the extra, but you can see about, you know, like how long it is. Hopefully that's a good, a good look. Y'all, I got so much stuff propped up under me on this seat. <laughs> to try to get me, you know, staying in, uh, like in the field of view. My hair is long. It is like right to the top of my butt. And this is with me kind of like, um, like snipping a little bit here, snipping a little bit there. But y'all, I desperately need a trim. I mean, these ends, like these, I, I, you know, I need a trim. I need to actually cut off at least two inches, probably more than that, probably more than that, as you can see. You know, they, they raggly on the ends. And when my hair's in this curly state, I can't really tell. You know, like sometimes I can feel the ends and maybe they're not that smooth. Um, but I, it, it don't really bother me. I do a search and destroy or, you know, just a little snip snip. But when I flat iron my hair, when I straighten my hair, you really can tell the difference. You really can see, you know, just those ends. I'm babbling a little bit, but y'all have some grace, please. This is my first time back on camera in over a month. Um, today is March the 3rd. I really wanted to have this video up on March the 1st to kind of, you know, first of the month, March, whatever. It just, it didn't work out like that. The reason why I didn't post anything in February, I think I mentioned this on one of my last uploads in, in January. I uploaded like the last few days of January, like all the way up to the 31st. And I told y'all that um, one of the reasons why it was so difficult to get through that last alphabet series, the letter Z, where we actually, well, I actually used the Miel product. Go back and check out that video. Um, is because I had just received some devastating news. It was hard for me to get through it. I knew I wasn't going to be able to redo it. So I just carried on and finished, you know, the video how it was. I know it wasn't the best of the best. I am gonna do a do-over. I actually have since used those products and for a wash and go. It wasn't intentional or whatever. I obviously didn't record it. I didn't upload it. The reason why I just was so like down and out is because we had a death in the family. Actually, we had multiple deaths in the family. Uh, but there was one particular one that just really, it just, it took, it 
took the breath out of me. It took the, the wind out of my sails. And it was a combination of how I was feeling and plus how this loss affected other members of my family. I just, y'all, I was, I, was, I was down and out. I did drive home uh, to Louisiana and spent, you know, several weeks with my family, just being close to my family. Just, just everything about this situation was just not positive. And I just, I couldn't come on camera, y'all. I just, I couldn't. I couldn't come on camera and not even coming on camera. Like I couldn't even like do anything to record, to edit, to upload. Like, you know what I'm saying? It just, it wasn't there. Anything I would have uploaded would have been way less than that last Alphabet Series video. And I hope to never um, record the video in that state. I just, I, I hope not to do that. I did go home. I got time to uh, just be with my family, you know, in a time of loss. We also celebrated some positive things and, you know, that was good. But I'm telling y'all, okay. Spend time with your family. If you can't physically be there with them, do a video chat, call, um, text them, message them, just something, you know, give, give people flowers while they can smell them. Talk to them while they can hear you, you know, visit them while they can see you and you can see them and you can hear them and you can just visit with them. Family is so important. And the thing is, family was, is, and will always be important. It's just that during this time, during this time in the world today, to me, it's even more so important. And I feel for people who live distances from their family members, you know, because it's, sometimes it's, it's a little more difficult to travel or get around, you know, or whatever. Um, just spend time with your family. So I'ma just, yeah, let, let me go ahead and leave that right there. Okay, some other stuff that's been going on. I did take a break from school. I took, well, I'm still in the break, but like a two month break from school, pretty much. I'll be returning to classes the end of this month, so the end of March. And y'all, I gotta hit it hard. I did well in my first class, even though it was kind of a challenge getting back into like the college mind frame. The second course was just a total crash. Crash and burn with the smoke and the ashes. But y'all, I'm finna be a phoenix though. We, we gonna rise up out the ashes. And I go back to school the end of this month uh, to continue my doctorate studies. The channel is gonna resume. My goal is still to put up two videos a week. And I'm thinking one video is gonna be a hair related video. And then one video is gonna be something else. Either a chill chat, a backyard shenanigan, um, something about my electric car, you know, just something else. So I'm not always just doing hair stuff. At the same time, off camera, I need to be more consistent in my hair care and my hair health. I have been having issues with dry hair and retaining moisture. And part of that is because I had not been doing regular wash days and regularly taking care of my hair. So even in between recording hair videos, I'm going to be doing things to help, um, gain and maintain the moisture in my hair, especially on my ends. And I want my hair to be healthy as well as long, because I do want long hair. Ever since my hair finally did start growing in, because y'all, I was two years old and, and barely had enough hair to put a barrette in it. Um, but when my hair did grow in, like it, it, it grew in. But I've always wanted long hair. I like long hair, I always wanted long hair. 
I have long hair. This is not even the longest that my hair has been. I've had short, I mean, I've had hair like above my ear short and I've had hair down my back. I just prefer long hair, but I will, I will rock, um, like an asymmetrical bob. Ooh, get, get it cut asymmetrically. And then plus when you wear curly, ooh, -hoo. <laughs> I straighten my hair to get a really good trim or sometimes even a cut. And then it's back curl. It's March. The last time I flat ironed my hair, I would have to go back through my videos, but um, I don't know. I don't remember the last time. So this year, I mean, it's March. So I flat ironed it March the 1st, 2022. I make sure I remember that. I might flat iron it one more time this year. And again, that's only if I feel like I really need to get like a good trim or a good cut. But other than that, Nah, I just I don't know. I just I don't I don't like straight hair. But for those of us who do, rock it, rock it and roll it. You heard? I just wanted to let you know I'm back. I have not forgotten about anybody in the jury, anybody in my uh, Green Thumb Garden Club, anybody who's you know watching my channel because they're interested in electric vehicles and stuff like that i haven't forgot about anybody matter of fact i've been thinking about y'all the whole time and i look back at my channel we over 500 subscribers i don't have the exact count at this second but i know we over 500 i am so thankful i'm so thankful my channel is like three and a half years old i have 500 subscribers but the subscribers that i do have y'all rock and roll with me like we interactive in the chat in the comment section i mean i want to get to having a chat section so if i get to that thousand subscribers you know then we can go live i can have a live chat and uh the comp uh what is it the community tab and stuff open up my channel a little bit more so we still got some channel goals um i'm still gonna be doing hair product reviews i have like a zillion products I am going to be going into my rolly bins and do like my closet rebel videos. You're going to see more of that. And these are products that I got from Sally Beauty, the Dollar 25 tree, because it ain't the Dollar Tree no more, y'all. The Dollar 25 tree. Look, I went there and I got these nails. Let me see. I don't know if it's going to focus, but it's like French tip with the little gold thing. And then, y'all, wait, let me show you this right quick. Let me see if I have it right here available i got so much stuff in this drawer i actually just came from the dollar tree because i had some other nails and i'll show y'all that i probably post up a picture y'all and i tried with those nails and it just mm -mm. but i realized it was the glue because of course the glue was like 400 years old <laughs> because i don't wear um press on nails like that often um, but I think the glue had dried up or it, it just wasn't, it wasn't dry. I did actually have some tubes that was dry. They had never been opened, still in the pack and they was completely dried out. But I think it's because the glue, I don't know. But anyway, y'all look, I found this. Let's see if, will this come through? I don't know how y'all, how we do the thing. Okay. Maybe, is that it? Okay, I think maybe this is it. So this is actually brush on nail glue. And it's like um like a nail polish. And you brush on the glue. And then you put the nail. And this is my first time using it. Probably like 15 minutes before I started recording this video. And so far, I like it. You know, we'll see how long these nails stay on. I don't really expect them to stay on, you know, more than like two or three days. So you know, you'll see me like sporting them every once in a while. If y'all see me with like two nails on and three off, just know that they popped off probably right before I started recording. And I just ain't feel like going through the process, y'all. I just wanted to get everybody caught up just to let you know that I'm still here. Thank you for uh, your grace and your understanding and me taking the month of February off. It was not intentional, but I, it was it was much needed. It was much needed. I'm trying to get refocused. I'm trying to get back on track with a lot of things in my life. I will be uploading videos. I'm going to try to do two a week. Like I said, one hair video and one non-hair video. 
Yo, when I start back school at the end of this month, or we gonna see, it might be down to one video a week, or maybe one kind of full length video and a couple of little short, you know, things. Um, we gonna see, but I am gonna be uploading content on the channel. I am gonna be bringing you more hair product reviews, backyard shenanigans. Oh my goodness, y'all, to see the backyard, it looks absolutely horrible i gotta get my tiller i have weeds that are well that word they gone now but i had weeds that was like three feet tall y'all the tomato tree is still growing it is still growing i'm gonna have to cut that chicken wire i'm gonna lose all that chicken wire and all of that netting because y'all i just i cannot uproot that tomato plant i can't do it Ladies and gentlemen, that's all I have for this video. Please remember to like, comment, subscribe, click that notifications bell, share this video, share my playlist, <laughs> share my channel with everyone you know. And until next time, be safe, be well, and be blessed.